Welcome to Sunday Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. This week we talked about snowblowers, the 1619 Project, Governor Pritzker, and hostess ho-hos and singers. At Washington National Cathedral, the readings were from Nemamaya and Corinthians. We are all members of the same body. Dean Hollerith mentioned a while back that the Episcopal Church is part of both the Reformation and at the same time, Protestant or Reform. Having attended the Presbyterian Church for many years, one thing I learned is that many of us do not like change or anything presenting itself as new. Today, I tried something new. I attended the 17th Church of Christ Scientists in downtown Chicago. Later at coffee hour, I was asked what the message was. And I am still digesting the message, but I did hear loud and clear the central theme that we are a spiritual body incarnate in a corporal form and not a corporal form with a spirit simply attached to it. Over the years, people would ask, is your church Bible-based? And I always wondered, how could it be anything else? And what does that question even mean? I suppose we could ask, are we living our lives as corporal beings fighting for our lives or spiritual beings who have already been saved? I know many people have issues with the Christian scientists. For many, they simply confuse it with Scientology. And that is another conversation altogether. Christian science aligns itself with the term science because they see this term as something uncorruptible by the dogma, orthodoxy, and belief systems of this world, which they see diametrically opposed to the re reality of Christ in God and truth. It is ironic in our time that both science and religion has been infiltrated and politicized. In the process, we have all been reduced to the corporal in its entirety and identified as such as either the fully corporal or the fully not. As I was rushing back from church across the Chicago River, I stopped to help a lady struggling to take a selfie in front of the Trump Tower. She asked me to be sure to get the Trump sign in the background of the photo. I told her I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Later at coffee hour, we talked about the difference between hostess ho-hos and zingers. And I do appreciate the differences of opinion and perspective. We all need to find our truth in this world. And if we go looking for our truth in the corporal world, we are very likely to end up with a zinger. If you would like to join us at Sunday coffee hour, I will include my email in the description of this video and I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.